This is Twit. This is a rumor. I don't know. Well, you can tell me if it's credible. This comes from uh, Tom's Hardware. Apparently, actually, originally came from Digitimes. Apple is killing its AR glasses. Due to alleged technical problems, the report came from Digitimes, which, as Tom's hardware points out, has a mixed track record. In fact, Ming-Chi Kuo in March said that supply sources confirmed Apple may produce those glasses as soon as the end of 2019. But Digitimes is also a supply chain rumor mill. What do we know about this? Is this a permanent issue? Is Apple giving up on AR? Remember that Tim Cook was saying AR at every single analyst call, right, Laurie? Every time, over and over, and he stopped. He did not mention it at all in the last analyst call, right? He didn't mention it at all at the last analyst call. I I don't know how much credit I would put to this particular um, rumor, though. It there, is just a rumor, we should say. Apple said nothing. Right. And, and you know, there's, there's something to be said for the technology isn't there yet. Right. Okay. So if Apple has done enough research and development to realize that right now, today, they can't make the AR glasses that they want to make, they're going to shelve it and they're going to wait until the technology does exist and then they're going to make it. It doesn't mean that there's like a a problem with design inside Apple. It means that, you know, how long have we been hearing about an yeah. Apple TV? Not not the Apple TV box, but this television set that yeah. Apple was supposedly making 15 years ago, they were talking about it, and it still hasn't happened. The Apple car, these are, you know, the company is out there doing all this research to try to figure out whether or not they can actually do this. And there might come a point where they decide, right now, the technology doesn't exist for us to do this. So we're going to shelve it until the, until it does. And that makes a lot of sense. I think all companies do things like that. So I don't think it's scrapped. I think that if if it's at all, it's just being shelved until there's, you know, a little more advancement in in what we can do. Yeah, I, I think that I, I agree 100%. Uh, I think that uh, for one, Apple does have a very successful uh, AR consumer device. And it's called the iPhone. Uh, that's, that's all we've been seeing in the, in the past two or three years. It's, it's a interface to augmented reality that consumers are willing to use and willing to introduce into their lives. And you can do some really nice, really, really effective uh, tools, uh, things with it, not just uh, things like uh, aiding maps, not just doing games, but uh, uh, did you know that uh, as part of the 50th anniversary of the moon landings, uh, they have, <laughs> the Smithsonian has an actual 3D model of uh, the Apollo 11, 11 command module that you could just put right on the desk and just zoom around and just take a, an absolute tour through. Uh, so these phones are really the only way you can do augmented reality for on a consumer level. If you want to do it on a uh, on a on, on a, like a business level, if you want to do it for for consulting, uh, you can have something. You can have something like Google Glass, uh, which is being manufactured and sold. You can have something uh, like uh, like Microsoft's product, which again is being uh, manufactured and sold. It's a really kind of goofy looking piece of headwear that you wear because you are working in an architecture firm and you absolutely need to be able to show off, you do walkthroughs of certain properties uh, or you you're, uh, need to be able to teach somebody how to fix a certain aircraft component uh, in a way that's more effective than having a three ring binder next to, a, next to an engine. Uh, the pro but the problem with augmented reality and the reason why I kind of, I'm, I am, uh, I am uh, prejudiced to believe the report that Apple is backing away from immediate plans is that I have never, I, I don't, I haven't seen a single technology that would provide augmented reality in a, a in a way that people would expect for it to work, where you look around and things there are things in your field of vision that aren't actually really there. I have not done could be incorporated in a non-goofy looking device that that consumers would simply buy the way they would buy AirPods, the way that they would buy iPhones. Uh, and secondly, there's the second huge problem is that uh, people like us who wear glasses have a huge, huge advantage over people who don't in that I can buy a neat pair of like Bose headphones that are built into uh, eyeglass frames and be walking around all the time uh, with headphones on without appearing as though I'm wearing headphones. Whereas if you don't wear glasses naturally, 
you are forced to basically put something on your face you wouldn't normally have on your face. You're, the lenses are not doing anything useful for correcting your vision. They're just there to put more stuff in front of your face. Are you going to get people to put something on their faces uh, apart from sports glasses, apart from sunglasses, just to get augmented reality features? Uh, so I'm not saying that this breakthrough hasn't happened. It's just that I haven't seen it anywhere. So I'd be given that Apple would not want to be the company that would want to make a goggle sort of thing that wouldn't they don't want to make a a pair of like swim goggles that has a cable to a, a pod that you have to wear uh, on your hip for cooling and for for processing i just wasn't able to see how apple would be able to manufacture something that would be very very apple like yeah i just uh, i don't think anybody will ever be uh, hold on a second i just got a message <laughs> i don't think anybody will ever be uh doing Oh, these are very annoying. Okay. <laughs> so we have a couple of these in-house. Uh, this one is, uh, who makes these? Vuzix Blade. This is a Vuzix Blade. And then there's another company that, in fact, Anthony went down to San Francisco. He said, hey, you want to go down to San Francisco, get fitted for some AR glasses tomorrow? I said, that sounds incredibly annoying. No, I do not. <laughs> he went down. So his is, yours are coming this week, I think, right? Tomorrow he's getting them. So we're going to do some reviews on these. Um, but Jason Howell had these Vuzix for a while. And he said, no, I can't do it anymore. Because you look, well, first of all, what do I look like? Do I look good? Roy Everson. You don't look bad. <laughs> I, look great, but not so bad. Anthony was wearing them this morning. And I thought, what, did you a go to the bio. eye doctor? Did you get your pupils dilated? Why are you wearing these weird? Oh, he just asked me if I wanted coffee. That's the other problem. I am talking to you. And... Like this color message, this is a heads-up display, not like the Google Glass where it was over your eyebrow. So while I'm looking out, I see the world that looks like I'm maybe a little bit wearing sunglasses. But this is projecting onto the back of the screen messages and notifications. If I tap this, I can see the weather forecast. I can see <laughs> other things. I can see Anthony's uh, messages. Um, let's see. Here's home. It's July 16th. It's 1.11 p.m. Uh, I could see cache data, user data. I don't know why. Maybe I'm on the some sort of weird uh, settings thing. This has its own <laughs> processor, its own memory. What was your battery life like, Anthony? Did you get through the day with this uh, thing? That's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah. Very good. Probably not. I'm at 50% now. You yeah. started wearing them what time? This morning. So. so, yeah, it won't get through the full day. Um, now, admittedly, we're at the uh, Atari VCS stage of this. We're, we're uh, <laughs> you know, this is very early days of the technology. But I could see if Tim Cook, you know, Johnny said, hey, before I leave, I'd like to show you something. <laughs> and Tim Cook comes in and puts these on. I could see him saying, not today, Johnny, not today. <laughs> um, it's just there. I, it is very early days yet. I mean, it's it's there. I think there'll be people who will want this, I guess. I wouldn't. I don't know. And, Lori, do you think I, uh, I'm, I'm a good-looking fella in these? Or if if, if I walked up to you, at a sick burn concert, and I just said, "Hey, <laughs> man, you're so good. Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Would you uh, reject me out of hand?" Uh, the glasses are <laughs> the are they're weird looking. They yeah. I, they definitely they those those ones the one you, you're wearing they look like a guy who's trying to show everybody how cool he is, yeah. but his glasses aren't cool enough to really yeah. make that work. Okay, yeah, what's your yeah. About um, definitely when it comes to design, <laughs> that, you know, the AR glasses are just failing 100%. I, but I they have to be because they have to contain, you know, batteries and there's a PC in here and there's all this stuff. To me, I look like this. I'd be more likely to come up to you and say, now is the time on Sprockets when we dance. Mm -hmm. or, no, no, <laughs> there's, this isn't a hidden camera. I'm not, it's not secretly <laughs> I'm not, taking video of I'm you. I'm not recording you. Don't pay no attention <laughs> right. to my swiping. Right. But but think about Ball? this. So what, wearables had been around, uh, watches, smartwatches had been around for a while before Apple finally jumped into the, to the smartwatch industry. And what did they do? They came out presenting it to you as this well-designed luxury piece. I think AR glasses could be the same thing. Yeah, maybe. The, to me, there's still an issue with the thing popping up in front of your eyes. It's a little annoying. <laughs> oh, there's one other thing. These are $700. So uh, you're paying a price to be that guy. And honestly, if you wear them, you are that guy. Anthony? That guy. You are that guy. <laughs> Thank you for... Letting me uh, wear those. Uh, you know, 
but again, uh, if you, you know, if, if I got an Atari VCS and I was playing Pitfall with my little plastic joystick and I said, someday these games are going to be so immersive you'll think you're living in them. You, you said, not, yeah, but not today, buddy. We're at the early days.